Welcome to The Damn Good Show, everybody, where we cover all of the awesome games coming out each and every month. I know what you're thinking. There's not any new games coming out this month, and you're mostly right. But what this month lacks in new releases, it makes up for with two of the biggest expansions from two of the biggest games in the past few years. So without further ado, here are your games to watch. Now, if you're watching this the day that it releases on Monday, congratulations. There's only one more day left until Destiny 2 The Final Shape hits all platforms. We don't know if this will be the last expansion, but what we do know is that this will conclude Bungie's 10-year saga of light and darkness. In this expansion, we'll go inside the Traveler for the first time to stop the Witness, and we'll go up against a new enemy faction called the Dread. We can expect this to be one of Bungie's largest expansions, and we know it will be its most linear campaign, but we do have teases that the world will open up once the campaign has completed. We can of course expect new weapons, new armor, and we know that we have a new subclass called Prismatic, which will allow us to mix and match different elements of all of the light and dark subclasses that are already in the game. In the gameplay reveal, it looked really freaking cool being able to swap out different aspects, different supers, different abilities. It's gonna be really, really cool. In addition to the new campaign, the new subclass, all of the new gear, Bungie is also switching up their storytelling beyond the campaign with their episodes. I'm curious to see how the new story format post-campaign plays out and if it will keep things a little bit fresher than the seasonal stories that we're used to. Now, if MMOs aren't your thing, I have a JRPG for you. Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance is releasing. Atlas continues their formula of reimagining their previous titles like Persona 5 Royal, Persona 4 Golden. Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance promises an entirely new storyline with up to 80 hours hours of new content with a brand new character, revamped combat systems, better open world exploration, new demons, an unimaginable amount of new content being added to this game. Now, let's say you're not an MMO fan. Let's say you're not a JRPG fan. I have a feeling that you're an Elden Ring fan. The expansion that we have all been waiting for, Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, is finally coming out this month. The Tarnished will travel to the Land of Shadow with a brand new sandbox, a brand new open world for us to explore. With that, we can of course expect new enemies, new weapons, new armor, new magic, new dungeons, new everything. Now, I do have to give the caveat that I myself am not this far in the story yet, but it looks like we will have to defeat Star Scourge Rudan in order to progress into the Land of Shadow and experience everything that Shadow of the Earth Tree has to offer. So make sure you do a little bit of research if you're new to Elden Ring, or if you've even beaten the game, it sounds like we might even have to restart it. So that has been your games to watch for the month of June, the DLC expansion edition. But I do not want to discount that because I genuinely genuinely believe that we're going to get some awesome new stories in these games this month. Thank you so much for watching The Dan Good Show. You can follow me everywhere at The Dan Good Show, and we will see you next month.